Every morning, no matter how late he had been up, my father rose at 5.30, went to his study, wrote for a couple of hours, made us all breakfast, read the paper with my mother, and then went back to work for the rest of the morning. Many years passed before I realized that he did this for a living. Akimbo, this must be one of the odder looking words in the language and puzzles us in part because it doesn't seem to have any relatives. What's more, it is now virtually a fossil word, until recently almost invariably found. In arms akimbo, a posture in which a person stands with hands on hips and elbows sharply bent outward, one signaling impatience or hostility.
The situation is similar to a pregnant woman that has twin babies in her belly, says Avi Loeb of the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics. He's proposing the idea in a paper that's been accepted for publication in the Astrophysical Journal Letters. Although it comes from a remote region in the Himalayas, this plant now looks entirely at home on the banks of English rivers. Brought to the UK in 1839-1839, it quickly escaped, colonizing riverbanks and damp woodlands. Now it is spreading across Europe, New Zealand and Canada. In the Himalayas the plant is held in check by various pests, and it grows and reproduces unhindered. At the beginning of each fiscal year funds are allocated to each state account in accordance with the university's financial plan. Funds are allocated to each account by object of expenditure. Account managers are responsible for ensuring that adequate funds are available in the appropriate object before initiating transactions to use the funds.
When countries assess their annual carbon emissions, they count up their cars and power stations, but bush fires are not included presumably because they are deemed to be events beyond human control. In Australia, Victoria alone sees several hundred thousand hectares burn each year. In both 2004 and more recently, the figure has been over 1 million hectares. How do we imagine the unimaginable? If we're asked to think of an object, say, a yellow tulip, a picture, immediately forms in our mind's eye. But what if we try to imagine a concept such as the square root of negative number? Many papers you write in college will require you to include quotes from one or more sources. Even if you don't have to do it, integrating a few quotes into your writing can add life and persuasiveness to your arguments. The key is to use quotes to support a point you're trying to make rather than just include them to fill space.
There are perhaps three ways of looking at furniture. Some people see it as purely functional and useful, and don't bother themselves with aesthetics. Others see it as essential to civilized living and concern themselves with design and how the furniture will look in a room. In other words, function combined with aesthetics, and yet others see furniture as a form of art. The speaker is a marine biologist who became interested in the strandlopers, an ancient people who lived on the coastline, because of their connection to the sea. Their way of life intrigued him. As a child he had spent a lot of time by the sea, exploring and collecting things, so he began to study them, and discovered some interesting information about their way of life, how they hunted, what tools they used, and so on. Modern buildings have to achieve certain performance requirements, at least to satisfy those of building codes to provide a safe, healthy, and comfortable environment. However, these conditioned environments demand resources in energy and materials, which are both limited in supply, to build and operate.
Humans need to use energy in order to exist. So it is unsurprising that the way people have been producing energy is largely responsible for current environmental problems. Pollution comes in many forms, but those that are most concerning, because of their impact on health, result from the combustion of fuels in power stations and cars. Researchers think that long-distance flyers such as the American Golden Plover and the White Rump Sandpiper picked up the spores while lining their nests. Then when the birds arrive in new places they molt, leaving behind the feathers and their precious cargo to start growing again at the other end of the world. Moods may also have an effect on how information is processed, by influencing the extent to which judges rely on pre-existing, internal information, or focus on new, external information. Positive moods promote more holistic and top-down processing style, while negative moods recruit more stimulus-driven and bottom-up processing.
Currently, integration is increasingly needed in the business environment. This need emerges from the efficiency and synergy requirements necessary in a complex and turbulent environment. In other words, integration is needed to facilitate coordination, which is again related to the building of competitive advantage. While the Republican field is packed with male candidates, so far, some of the sharpest Clinton critics have come from women. Democrats successfully campaigned on an alleged GOP-perpetrated war on women in 2012, but faltered in 2014 when they tried the same tactic. With Hillary Clinton as the likely Democratic nominee, the fight for women voters will be a central part of the 2016 campaign. To some extent, attendance at cultural venues and events is influenced by a person's age and the composition of the household in which they live. For example, those people in households with dependent children were more likely to visit zoological parks and aquariums than people living in single-person households.
Experts discuss the significance of attending the theater as a civic occasion, associated with the political and cultural achievements of Athens. Through archaeology and analyses of contemporary art forms such as decoration on pottery, a picture is built up of ancient Greek theater. Yeah.